<laughs> Would you believe me if I told you it was the 11th of March? It's pretty grand dull. Should be out fertilising, spraying, uh, cultivating and drilling, but no. It's very damp. So we're on wet day jobs until the forecast is looking better later on in the week. Um, not high pressure settled or anything, but just a bit brighter and breezier. So we should be able to get on some field work later in the week. But right now I'm just draining the engine oil out of the gator. Got some filters and oil here for it. So I'll do that this morning. This thing's a right bugger to service. It's also tight in there. You probably can't see anything, can you? I'm just going to try and change the fuel filter, but it's very fiddly. Wants a good wash as well. Wants a bath. Um, yeah, not the not one of my favourite jobs servicing this, but it's something to do in the workshop when the weather's rubbish. All right, we should be able to pull the fuel filter housing out now. I'll pull that pipe off. Now it should pull out. There it is. One fuel filter. And then that's the new one. I've already changed the engine oil and filter. I've just got to um, grease all the s suspension. And then I think we're done. Tighten that back up. And I've just got to work out how to bleed the filter. Fill it up with fuel. Turn the key on. And it just bled by itself, so that's good. Filter's full. She's running. Okay, Monday afternoon. Um, got a few trees that I need to sort out that are in the way. It's too wet to get out here with the telehandler, so I thought I'd bring the tracks down and, and the strap and just cut them and drag them out of the way, just to get them out of the way of the boom of the sprayer. Be quite good to have a front loader on this tractor, actually. Um, they just they tread so much lighter on the ground than telehandlers be good for doing bales as well actually, haylage bales in the summer. See what I mean, this is sticking out in the field and I had to go around it with a sprayer. Drag this one out of the way first. This is the smaller one in the way of the big one. So those little flies, now they're all in the cab. I was getting attacked by them outside and I left the door open. There we go. Oof. Right. I just almost kneecapped myself getting in the cab. Ow. Um, right. I'm hooked up to the second one, the big one. I've cut through it. Almost the way through it. It should just snap off now. Let's see what happens. Drag him out of the way. Go 
go on, snap, and he's off. I right, know, hopefully we can drag it out of the way and it'll stay in one piece. Alright, off to the next one. Got a couple more today. Got another one. This is quite a big one. Gonna put leave it on the side of the field. I'll pull up where the grass is a bit wider, there's a bit more room up here. There you are. Been uh, doing some more of those chopper blades on the combine because surprise, surprise, it's been it's Tuesday by the way and it's been raining all morning. It's horrible, worse than what I thought actually. The forecast, yeah, not much fun. Radio's rubbish these days, isn't it? Radio X is alright. I normally listen to Radio X and Absolute Country. Um, I've just fitted the DAB stereo in the combine. That stereo was in my old tractor, um, but my new tractor's got its own um, DAB stereo, so I thought I'd put this one in the combine because the one that was in the combine uh, was rubbish. Just the Bluetooth just disconnects constantly, as a lot of you will know. Um, I need to clean the fridge. Just found this in the fridge. <laughs> um, yeah. I think that's Cornish pasty. Especially going out with the agronomist crop walking in a bit. But it's not gonna be, I'm not sure we'll be doing much walking in this weather. Um, I'll quickly show you the, the fender project. I know a lot of you have been asking about that. So I think since the last time you've seen this, the only thing I've actually added to it is uh, new tyres. Uh, I put some 35 inch Maxxis trepidors on there on the five spokes. Um, other than that, it's still the same as, as you saw it before. Just been um, keeping an eye out really for a donor vehicle, just to get a body. I was gonna get a whole vehicle that needs a new chassis really, um, so then I get all the ID, get um, V5 and plates, VIN plates and everything. So ideally a TD5, because then because this chassis is a TD5 chassis and then the fuel tank and everything. It'll be the right fuel tank to fit in there. And the bodywork should be a bit better on a, on a TD5 because they're a bit newer as well. So then if, then if I used an old Defender, uh, it'll probably need all new doors and everything. So ideally TD5, but um, I'm just keeping my eye out. But even... I have seen ones that are completely in bits and they still want eight, nine grand and they sell as well. You know, I, I like offered six grand for it and he was like, sorry mate, it's sold. That's the first time I've even looked at it in ages. So, but even just seeing it there makes me want to get on with it now. So at lunchtime, I'll have a look on Facebook and eBay and see what I can find. Right, Wednesday today, um, we're actually having quite a good drying day. It's windy, we haven't had any rain, and it's all like 18 mile winds. You can see the tree blowing around. So yeah, it's drying up the ground nicely. Um, I thought I'd leave, give the ground today to, dr to drain and dry a bit. And then hopefully tomorrow I can try and get out and put some fertilizer on, the, on some grass fields. It's not gonna be ideal conditions. I'm gonna make a bit of a wheel mark. Probably sink in a few places. Um, I see a lot of people are putting their first spinners on like the 8RXs and things like that just to get them to travel, which is quite a good idea, but an expensive idea. Um, 
yeah, so that's the plan for tomorrow. But because, but then it's I think it's rain again Friday, Saturday, Sunday, which is shocking. Not fun at all at the moment. It's very tempting to fill the truck up with diesel, drive to France, and go skiing for a week. Um, very tempting. What do you reckon, Eric? You got the idea? <laughs> So got a few jobs to do to this drill, nothing major. Just give it a good grease up. I've got a couple of parts to change. Well, I've got a puncture to fix and one part to change, like a pipe. So nothing major. What I'll do is, today I'll fix the drill, tomorrow I'll go fertilising grass, and then Friday I'll drive to France. wash when we finish drilling I think um, so the pipe that I've got to change is down here the one that I've taped up because it's got a hole in it um, looks like I had a bit of a leak here that plate come undone and it's been spitting wheat out so I just need to take that off clean it out and put it back on properly nice and tight like I said I've got to fix a puncture and give it a grease up out there if you ever wondered balancing now if you ever wondered how the uh, seed gets from the tank all the way to down these pipes it comes out the bottom of the tank there through a metering system comes through that big pipe there where it's leaking through there up and then up into this mushroom and then it gets somehow probably with a little bit of luck it gets evenly distributed and you see all the little holes it comes up and then just hits that plate, that one, and gets evenly distributed round and goes down all these pipes. So I'm just going to blow it off so that uh, I can put that plate back on properly. But it takes a it takes a big fan running at about 3,800 RPM to to um, blow the seed from all the way up that pipe into the mushroom and then down the tubes so takes a lot of wind pressure The old one off. As we've got the drill on the 3350 and there's a field right there with no, no crop in it I think it would be silly not to have a quick go wouldn't it see if it'll pull it just for a laugh just to cheer us up on a dull week let's give it a go and see what happens right we'll see if we can get out of the yard first um, do a bit of maneuvering This field, um, 
this is where the spring beans are going to go. This is one of the fields that the spring beans are going to go in. And this bit of the field here is really light. It's sort of like the, one of the lightest bits in the whole block. So the rest of it is heavy clay. They're going to fit. It's going to be tight, isn't it? We'll be going downhill, so I wouldn't be surprised if it does pull it. I'll put the four wheel drive in. Alright, we're going low range. We'll see what happens. Not that one. That one. Aha, she's pulling it. Need some dual wheels. Lift it up out of the ground. We'll go for a higher gear. We'll drop her in now. She's doing it. We got a bit of wheel spin. It hasn't done a bad job. You can probably just run through the whole lot with this drill, use it as a cultivator, and then when it's dried off, use it as a drill. Put the seed in the ground. At least you now all know that a John Deere 3350 We'll pull a six metre Cochrane jockey downhill um, with no seed in the, in the hopper. I expect this tractor's probably only about 110 horsepower. Oh. It's happened to me right in front of my face and I just Oh dear. Morning! Um, <laughs> Thursday morning. This managed to stay dry for 24 hours. So we're going to go, I'm in the 155, we're going to, I've just filled up with fertiliser. I've got some nitrogen, um, sulphur and potash in the hopper. And we're going to go and put it on some grassland that will be cut for haylage. Yeah, I forgot to say how much that part was for the spray, didn't I? That box and bracket. Uh, £1,200 it was. So that's why I ended up, I was expecting it to be about 300 quid. So that's why I ended up straightening it out because it's so expensive but yeah so it's not going to be ideal this morning I'm going to probably make a little bit of a mess but they're, they are actually forecasting showers this afternoon so I don't know how much I'll get to do and rain over the next few days so I'm just taking this opportunity um, to try it and see if I can get a bit done there's so much drilling to do we've got ground all over the place we've got barley, oats and that beans to put in at both farms it's some um, and it was it the 14th of March today so not ideal at all the beans will want it going in in February really the beans will need it going in in February um, otherwise we're just gonna lose yield all the time get through the cattle yard I've had a warmy welly boots it's a bit muddy I'm also glad that I haven't got my tractor with my carpet because, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter if I get a bit of mud in here. I'm not worried about the this fertiliser leaching out of the ground um, if we get any more rain. I, sh I should think this grass is pretty hungry, so it will take it up straight away. Uh, we're going to put 350 kilos onto the hectare at 30 metres. It's a bit breezy, but it's only on grassland, uh, so it'll be fine. Just need to remember how to zero that. That one. There we go. Um, 
delete. Yes. Right, we can start with zero now, and then we know um, how much ground we've covered and how much we put on. Oh, we just need to tell it what field we're in for the GPS. We press that button, it should go straight to Ram Alley. It knows what field we're in. Um, set track, new track, boundary track, <laughs> boundary fill. Save. There we go. That it will auto steer us around the headland now. We can turn the. Well, we want to put our headland border on. Turn our fertilizer on, and we're fertilizing. It's plenty coming out. That's for sure. I've got three tons in the hopper. You can definitely see where we've been. We're making marks. But we're not sinking, so that's good. We'll put you in there and you can watch where we go. That's the first tank load done. It's already starting to rain. Yeah. Yeah, there's showers on the radar. I didn't think they'd forecast the showers until this afternoon. Typical. Shame I can't zoom in, there's another munch out there. They're everywhere. The day's picked up now. The showers sort of have cleared off for now. It's nice. Feels a bit more spring-like. Yeah, we get a few days like this together, and um, things would soon dry up. We'd be out cultivating in all sorts. There's a nice bit of grass up here, actually. This looks really good. I'll um, I'll see if I can stick the camera to the back of the spinner so you can see the. I don't know. We might be able to do a bit of slow motion or something. did just find a really bad wet hole there. I thought I was going in up to the axles. Most of the fields are fine and then you just hit a really bad wet spot and you think it's all over. driving up uh, back up the track to the yard this tractor is a lot rougher than my new the new one the 6r215 god it's quite bumpy for some reason i just had a look at the cab suspension that's on full auto it doesn't help having that big weight on the front but it sort of puts it all out of balance but it's still bumpy i haven't checked the tire pressures to be honest they could be rock hard Right, that's us done for today. It's starting to rain. We've done 50 hectares. Just gonna see what's left in the bottom of here. Oh, there's a little bit. Need a stick to, to um, loosen it up. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna go back to the farm and wash it off. She's a bit muddy. There was a few times where I thought it was all over. I thought, oh God, we're gonna get stuck. What's that? But, um, yeah, at least we've got 50 hectares done anyway. Push all that down in the bottom, and then we'll get every last little bit out then. 
Otherwise, I go back to wash it out and there's still a little bit in the bottom. Maybe next week, if the weather's still rubbish, we'll do some videos on lambing. Because she's about halfway through it at the moment. There's 280 ewes, I think, to lamb. Okay, Friday morning. Um, I've already washed that spinner off this morning, as you probably just saw. And I've put the sprayer on the 6.2. I'm going to run some water through it. Change the nozzles from fertilizer nozzles to spray nozzles because it looks like it's quite windy today, but it looks like tomorrow, as in Saturday, uh, the wind's going to drop down. Uh, so I'll get out and put a bit of roundup on some ground that will travel, hopefully. Looks like there's a bit of a leak there that I need to sort out too. It's dripping. I've swapped all the nozzles over, we'll run some clean water for it, check they're all working. Switch it off quick. It's a good job there's no roundup in there because it's just blown all over my garden. Uh, raining again. Didn't stay dry for many, many minutes. Just try that again because I had to unblock a nozzle. There was one blocked up nozzle, but now we're all good. All right, put it back in the shed and wait for tomorrow. And hopefully we'll have some better weather. These showers would be quite nice if it's been dry for the last three weeks. We'd be happy to have them, but... Lovely weather. Wait 10 minutes, the sun will be out again. Chunky little lambs. Go on. To, I'm not sure how old they are exactly. I'd have to ask Laura, but I would have thought no, no older than a week. Go on. Sun to be out in a minute. It's 
Saturday morning. Are we recording? Yeah, we're recording. I'm going to put some Roundup in the sprayer. Put some Roundup in here, look. And go and spray some stubbles. We need 54 litres of Roundup. That's 12, 13. It's going in there pretty quick. 14. Fairly quick, anyway. I've now just switched it onto this coupling, which is hooked up to the hose pipe, and it's flushing it all through with clean water. It's going for, there's clean water going in there pretty quickly as well. That's one of the first times I've used that closed coupling system, and that is making my life so much easier. Okay, so we're loaded. We'll head out to the fields. We've got quite a few small little fields that need spraying with Roundup. They should travel, even though it was raining yesterday evening. They should travel because they still stubble. We've got quite a lot of mud on my tires, it's all flinging off down the main road. It's looking a bit wet in a few patches, hopefully we'll be okay. Well, it's bumpy down here. Um, but as you can see, there's a lot of green down here that just needs killing as soon as possible. Absolutely cracking morning for it. There's no wind at all. Um, I've got seven little fields to do, I think. So it'll take a little while, but I'll only spray this morning because they're forecasting rain again from four o'clock onwards. It's a good job I didn't wash the tractor anyway. There's quite a lot of puddles out here, so there's water splashing everywhere. But I'm not getting stuck anyway, that's the main thing, just. As you can see, I've sunk a few times. I left the video on my phone, my camera is um, the memory card is full. I'm feeling a bit pissed off. It's not going as well as I'd hoped. It's wetter than I thought it was going to be. I'm making a mess. And I've only done four fields out of seven. So I'm, and I'm thinking about giving up. It's just frustrating because it's such a nice day. Um, I wanted to get on and get something done. Um, right, I'll give you an update in a minute. I'll let you know what I, um, what I do. Once I've done this, I've got to go and help Laura put out some more using lambs so I could go and do that all right so as it's turned out I think I actually ended up doing the worst ones first um, I've got two more to do after this one and these ones are traveling better um, they're on a bit lighter ground um, the ones that I made the ruts in Simon's gonna go through them with the cultivator with the Amazon cultivator which will go in quite deep and pull out the ruts so that's good it's just a shame it's gonna rain again later so a bit and turn around on the to the joystick with my left hand. Um, yeah, it's a shame it's going to rain again later. But on the plus side, they are talking about high pressure building next week. I know they've been saying that for the last six weeks, but it's actually looking quite likely now, which is good. Go on, I'm going to switch that off. Jake's here. I make him jump with the air horns. <laughs> What? You'll wake up <laughs> Those horns cheer me up every time. If you're feeling a bit rubbish, just blast the air horns at someone. Put a smile on my face. Right, I've got to drive really slowly up the driveway now. Otherwise I'm going to drop mud on Jeremy's driveway. There's a heron out there. Um, that's that crop of wheat there is another result of wet, a wet winter and a wet autumn. Back to the home farm and get some food because I'm starving. Dropping a bit of mud. 
Um, yeah, and then I think help Laura with, put out more news and land this afternoon. getting something. Go on then. Oh well. Everybody out. Come on out then. Everybody out. Freedom. Just needs a bit of sunshine now. I'll be happy. Alright, we're going to get some more. 